Hey everyone, this is Cliff. So we're going to make a couple of changes to the frame of the conveyor uh, to adjust to the size of the, um, the belting. So we're going to go ahead and open okay, the conveyor. So we're going to do a measurement. Okay, so this A dimension, seven and a half. So I'd say we want it to be at least seven and a half with a little bit of churn. The bottom's what's important because there's a little bit of curvature. So seventeen and three quarters. Two point seven five minus seven point five. So we need to remove ten and a quarter. If we divide that by two, it's five and an eighth. So we make it five and an eighth less. So we're going to go down to this frame weldment, and it's this one right there. We're going to take that out of the the sketch nine. And we actually need this edit and steer minus five point one two five. So it narrows it up. So it's going to rebuild the assembly. And you can see here, it looks much better. So I'm just going to mate a couple of these now. to this. So you hold control to copy the part like that. So hold control to flex the circle joints. Oops. this one out here.
and tune it to its edge. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to bring this in here. And since this one's already mated to the center line, we just keep, oh wait, it's not. I apologize. So what you're going to do is I'm going to see okay so it's the front plane okay so we're going to make the front plane of this to the right plane of this. We're going to make those two. Then we're going to make this the bottom of this. Oh, I made a terrible mistake. This is going to be upside down. So it looks really tight. What we're going to do, <coughs> we're going to add you know, really it doesn't need to extend past this right here. So we'll see what that is. We can take that. Oops. Okay, so the um, Z component is about half an inch, so we're going to make the whole thing one inch bigger, can we? So to do that, we're going to open this, we're going to add half an inch, plus 0.5. So this needs to rebuild. Okay, so we can see that that looks really good right here. Now the sprockets are going to be <coughs> um, essentially what are going to um, the sprocket is going to make. This is a one inch shaft. I guess we'll do this the same. So the left side of this one, go to the hole. We 
can do edit in context, but I'm going to open this in that left-hand panel. Oh, so full wizard. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Eight. Josh is going to be a quarter, and we just want a free hole. I forgot where I'm going to stand, so we're going to do this manually. So, I'm going to make a circle. One point two five. We're gonna reposition this later, but for now, this is gonna do six inches. This is just a placeholder. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a cut extrude, but I'm going to do customize that. So cut extrude is going to be X. Okay. So I do X, we're gonna do a through hole. Okay, now we have a hole there. We're gonna save it. I believe we have to reinsert this. Okay. So we'll use that one for positioning. Okay. So this front
to be needed. When and what will I get there? Heart pain. So that one leads to the idler. Okay. What's that one to do? Wanna make these concentric? Should make it the same hole. <coughs> On the other side, we'll make that one too. Not sure if this works. Let me try. Oh, yeah, that works. So I can set relations horizontal. I'm going to set these to equal. <coughs> I'm going to set this to six inches. Oops. So, yep, fully defined. So you can see how it doesn't fit the skin until I uh, reinsert it. I don't really know why that is, but once I reinsert it, it adds the hole. Okay, I'm gonna update that. It's gonna rebuild. And now we're gonna make that concentric. So basically, the um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to shrink this. And um, to trim this off the bottom, I don't think it really needs to be trimmed, but we, we'll trim this where you put a little cut and put a bend in it. And um, there will be a little bit of coming up. Um, but so we just need to resize that. And we're going to need to drill some holes and put some overheads on here to um, pull this up. And thank you very much for watching. We're going to save this and uh, stay tuned. Bye bye.